So John, 28 years ago in the foundations of corporate success, you wrote that a business is a set of relationships that exist between various stakeholders, employees, customers, investors, and shareholders, and that its clear objective is adding value. I'm guessing these are still your views. Uh, you're right, and I've, um, I think I hope I've refined them a bit since then. But the basic idea remains the same. And you know, that comes from uh, my, my first experiences of people, real people running real businesses. And my early career was basically as academic economist. Well, it was as academic economist. And um, in the kind of models economists typically develop, people are maximizing things. But actually, as I experienced real business, I came to realize that people weren't maximizing profits or shareholder value. And because of the way economists think, I went on to wonder, so what are they maximizing? And I came to realize that most people, most of the time, are not maximizing anything. They're maintaining a balance between a variety of partly conflicting, partly compatible forces. And that whether we're talking about life or managing a business or indeed running a country, it's about maintaining a balance in that kind of sense. You go on to talk about uh, relationships and say that relationships need to be designed to secure outcomes in which all parties win and make the point that an exclusive preoccupation with the interests of one stakeholder group may not serve even the interests of that particular group and that it may also inhibit the formation and operation of other relationships. Yeah, we come there to what Jim Collins published, I think in 1993 as well, called the profit-seeking paradox, that the, the most profitable companies were not the most profit-oriented in general. Actually, that reminds me of um, the book Beyond Performance by Colin Price, in which he suggests that the companies that focus most on performance actually achieve their worst performance. Right. It's again, it's about you know, needing to keep balance here. Yeah? yeah, there's a nice example then that Bear Stearns famously had a sign on the trading floor saying we make nothing but money. And the business that ended, made nothing but money ended up not making very much of that. And the reason for that was it was in the end, in the end torn apart by the greed of its own employees and an unwillingness to rescue it, which arose from the fact that they'd made so many enemies in the course of operating that business. So just in terms of thinking about the various different stakeholder groups, um, they're not all of equal importance to the firm. Um, in the pursuit of its goals. So how should a business decide how to treat each of the stakeholder groups um, equally, equitably, um, or, or rather than giving any one group primacy? And there isn't a formula for that. It's maintaining a balance. Uh, and you will know when you've gone too far in one direction or another. In the way we do in our our life. We talk about work-life balance, for example, which doesn't mean I have an index that says my life goals are 60% work, 40% family and friends, or something like that. It's uh, a matter of realizing that you've gone too far in one direction or the other, when on one hand you, you don't have any friends because you're working 24 hours a day, on the other that you you don't have a job because you're playing 24 hours a day. I guess you can try to preemptively manage that balance rather than wait for something to go wrong. And, and that, that's what you should do. It's, I, I think of it as like steering a, steering a boat or a car. You want, you, want to keep, you want to be in the middle of the river or the middle of the lane. 